I did a train tutorial a few weeks back on how to make a train and obviously it didn't get into this much detail but um, you should still have a train model at this point and um, I still have another train tutorial I want to do. I got a request to do a specific one on how to model a certain type of train engine but um, I feel like a question that's come up a few times is how to like animate them how to like make the trains move and it is possible to do it's actually really really easy so um let's let's go into that for this to work you got to make sure that everything is parented correctly so you want to make sure that like when you move the car you know the wheels move with it basically okay so i'm editing right now and i realize i never said how you can parent the objects so you just select the train wheels and then you select the train car and it has to be in that order and you press control P and a little uh, objects menu will come up and it will give you all the controls for what kind of parent you want to do and you just select object it should be the top on the list and that should do it and I'm gonna uh, reset these doors here so that um, they will be realistically in place for when the train's moving. And you also want to make sure that not only is everything parented to the car, but that the car is parented to the engine, which it is. So great. Um, and you'll see in a case like this that we have specific tracks for this to follow. And it's on the tracks, so that's pretty good. Um, if you watch my train station tutorial, um, I show how to make tracks like this. I actually show how to make this exact setup with the um, station and the track. Okay, um, basically, well, it depends on how you're trying to animate this, but if you just want the train to be going a constant speed, in this case, I'm going along the Y axis, so if I press G and then Y, now I can move it along the Y axis, which is really handy. And we can, um, we can set it to a start place. So if I move it back here and I go over to the object properties and on the Y, I add a little keyframe. And if I go forward a few frames, I can um, drag the train forward along the Y and add another keyframe and now it moves but it kind of starts and stops and it sort of speeds up before slowing down I can make this a bit bigger so it's more obvious but you'll see it kind of ramps in and then ramps out and um, so if you select both keyframes and press shift E you can change the extrapolation here we want to do linear extrapolation which means not only does it start at a constant speed but it keeps going at a constant speed. And now we have more of a constant uh, engine speed. And obviously it's the kind of thing you can keep ramping this up as fast as you want it to go. Okay, and um, something I do a lot for trains is uh, sometimes I'll just select like a car, like this one. And um, if you go over to the rotation here and check um, Y or Okay, it depends on which direction your car is going. If your car is going along the X axis, check X. If it's going along the Y, check Y. Um, so check Y. And then if you go down to this little clock symbol here uh, and click it, change from timeline, which is what we're on right now, to graph editor. And you can select our object here and go down to the Y rotation. I'm going to come over to this tab. So this tab by default is off. So you have to press N to bring it up. Anyways, um, there's a modifier setting here. And if you add in a noise modifier, now our car is rocking back and forth very, very vigorously. So I'm just going to turn this down a little bit here. So I am, let's see, I'm going to turn down the strength. We just want like a little bit of um, a little bit of shake. Let's bring up the size to maybe make this three. So now the car has just a little bit of wobble to it, which I think adds a little bit adds a, adds a fair amount actually, and you can control how much. But then uh, you can come up to this little copy modifier and copy it. You go to the next car, add in another keyframe on the Y, 
press paste, and then you can just uh, offset this. So now they're both uh, they're both going to be shaking a little bit, but from different uh, at different times, which I think works super well to add in the fact that it's moving. It just gives it a little extra something, and it feels more like it's on tracks. And you can do it to the engine too. I just haven't. So yeah, that is usually how I animate uh, trains. And you can do stuff like make it slow down and stuff too. Um, I might do another video on that later because this one's starting to get a little lengthy. But um, yeah, so the big things I'd remember is um, the shift E and changing the extrapolation to linear and then um, adding in the uh, noise modifiers to make the cars wobble and bounce just a little bit. And you can also add them on on other axes too. And you can even go in and um, you can make the wheels parented to a separate object. Okay, so for instance, like you can control the cars with an empty, like I have here, which means um, the wheels can be um, set to follow this empty, which leaves the top of the cars open to be able to uh, rotate without disturbing the wheels, which is really, really handy um, because then you can like, you have much more range and it doesn't mess up like with the uh, physics and believability of it all. But I'm gonna get into on a later date how to set this all up so it parents of an empty. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today because this is starting to get a little long. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yeah,